Lonnie Thompson and his team may have found the answer to what really happened right around the time the last Maya world was destroyed, an event that some think could repeat in the year 2012. 5,200 years ago, this whole plateau was covered by very large, cold snow event, and it buried all the vegetation at the same time. The area we're standing right now was warm and boggy with a luxuriant carpet of plants, and then it got covered in ice maybe overnight. Uh, that's correct. In the climate view, uh, an abrupt event, very abrupt. And Thompson has the evidence to prove it. See them here, all this, this whole cliff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We found some rooted wetland plants that were exposed at the retreating margin of the ice. That is amazing. Yeah. You can see where they're coming right out of the ice. So you can see all these are plants coming right out of the glacier. The most pure plant fragments. Thompson and his team have carbon dated these ancient plants back to 5,200 years ago, the end of the last Maya world. So you can see these are, these are all the plant leaves. It's all massive plant collection. And these are in growth position. They're rooted here. That is spectacular. You can see all the leaves. They were all captured at once 5,200 years ago. These plants were essentially flash-frozen around the same time the last Maya world ended. That tells us sometime in the past it had to be warmer because these plants were growing in this valley. And it also tells us that whatever happened had to be rapid in order to capture the plants. A shift that Thompson thinks was dramatic enough to change the entire Earth's climate. Could that event have influenced Maya mythology? Okay, so it's pretty clear we had an abrupt cooling and wetting here 5,200 years ago. What does that mean for other places in the tropics, like the Yucatan Peninsula where the Mayans lived? An abrupt event here will have an abrupt event in the Yucatan Peninsula where the Mayan are living. And that's, to me, is why you might expect to see some connection between the Mayan calendar and something happening here 5,200 years ago. So do you think it's just coincidence that this abrupt climate event 5,200 years ago is also about the same time that the Mayan calendar begins? Well, I think the, 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 it's a balance of evidence you see around the world. It's not just these plants. These plants got us interested in this period of time, but it's not just 5,200 years here on the Kelkaya ice cap, but this period of, of abrupt change has been noted in our cores out of uh, Kilimanjaro in Africa. Let's see the ice man that came out of the glaciers in the Austrian Alps uh, back in 1991 is 5,200 years in age. We have a lot of cultures, uh, records preserved. So the Mayan calendar, the Hindu calendar, they all support something happening large scale yeah. during this period of time. So something global climatically and possibly even culturally. Uh, exactly, and in fact, it would suggest there, uh, there is a direct link between the climate events and changes in cultures as we look back through our human history. <laughs>